Hi, this is Tom Callis, and I'm here to talk to martial arts teachers a little bit about uh, what I think is the most important aspect of uh, how I teach and the easiest thing for you to borrow to improve the, your own quality of teaching. It's the best thing I've learned in all the years I've been training and teaching. It's a simple concept and it works like this. Rate yourself on a scale from one to 10. One is your stinky, scummy, slimy, smelly worst and 10 is your best. So when you're lining your students up, ask yourself on a scale from one to 10, where it rated. Ask yourself about your posture, your breathing, your mental attitude. Ask your students to turn left, turn right, drop back in a fighting stance, whatever, and find out where 10 is. Now, I were your senior student in your class, and you said, okay, Tom, drop back into a fighting stance with a good yell and demonstrate what level 10 is. And of course I drop back and ah, you know, just scream it out, you know, like level 10 intensity. And then you could look at your other students and say, now that's the mark. That's what you want to beat right now. Let's try. Boom. Because when you're teaching, the first and most giant obstacle perhaps is uh, getting your students to apply themselves fully. Make them cognizant of what the highest level of performance that you can imagine or that they're capable of at this time. And then anything less than that is the naked and waving a chainsaw theory. What would we all do? You're all in class, there's 20 kids on the mat. And what would you do if Mrs. Johnson walked in completely nudie patootie, where, you know, with a big seven foot chainsaw running? Would we all just say, oh, that's just Mrs. Johnson, that's just the way she is. Huh. We'd freak out, run over there, grab the thing out of her hand, shut it down, cover her up, and I don't know, call this psychiatric ward. We wouldn't tolerate it. it you wouldn't let her run back there completely naked, just talking to parents and sitting around. Well, when you are my student and we're in class and you're not applying yourself at level 10, that is giving it the best you've got, whether it's just standing or paying attention when I'm talking or working on your kicks, you might as well be naked and waving a chainsaw because I can't tolerate it. You might as well be running your fingernails down the chalkboard. We're not all just gonna sit there. You know, I mean, it, it grates on me. So the number one priority I have as a martial arts teacher is to get my students to recognize what level 10 is, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then to move them towards 10. Now, when I get a classroom of people applying themselves fully at level 10, whether it's being quiet at level 10 or screaming their guts out at level 10 or kicking the bags or grappling, because level 10 doesn't mean ferocious. Level 10 might just mean intensely focused. Level 10 means you're in the moment, perfectly present, aware of what you're doing and applying yourself to the best of your ability. That's the first thing I have to get in my students. If I don't get that, Everything else stops and I have to talk to them about it or have somebody demonstrate or demonstrate myself what level 10 is because I will simply not tolerate a student who isn't giving it their go. Uh, they're all, you know, and nor would I expect a parent to tolerate an instructor who gives it 50% or 60%. I want professionalism. I want my instructors to be present and focused on the students and I want the students to expect that from the teachers and I want the teachers to expect the student to be focused. You don't have to know how to do a front kick. You don't have to be good at your kata. You don't even have to be a good fighter, but you do have to apply yourself to what you're learning because if you don't apply yourself, growth doesn't happen. So in summary, you have to use this as a tool. There's gotta be a little person sitting on your shoulder. Uh, was that level 10? Was that level 10? Was that level 10? And you have to very patiently train your students and your staff and yourself to ask yourself when you're doing something, anything, was that the best you had? And start to be cognizant of that, to operate with that idea in your mind and just increases the quality of your performance. I mean, you have two choices. You can get the student to do it themselves where they start asking themselves those questions or you can run around uh, yelling at everybody, uh, trying to inspire and motivate them to do better. I mean, you can spend so much energy trying to get people just to perform at the highest level that they possibly can, but you're spent. What I prefer is having a group of people who come in and know how to apply themselves and then I can teach. 
I can teach technique. I don't have to spend all my energy trying to get somebody to go from 50% to 100. I'll do it while I have to. But ideally, uh, the, what I teach is how to get the student to do that themselves first. Thus, I can be a teacher instead of a cheerleader. So that's an idea, scale one to 10. Ask yourself on the 100, how much you're participating as a member of this elite group, the 100, on a scale from one to 10. One is you don't even show up. 10 is you make contribution equal or better than mine. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.